This will be fun. Yeah. Welcome to Hey EW. I am RJ City, and my guest is Diana Perazzo. Hey. Hi. How are you? Hey. Good. Excellent. <laughs> really good stuff. <laughs> you are late there. Okay. Now I've started, and you're talking off. You're an Italian from New Jersey. Yeah. You mob affiliated? Maybe. You're mother Sicilian. You, you must have a couple of sketchy uncles. <laughs> Just we, a few. We don't know what they do. We don't know. Just they're, say they're, they're in bookies. waste management. Yes, they are. I believe it. You know, it's a shame, though, because indie wrestling would be such a good front for the mob. It's all cash. Yeah. You don't really make money. Yeah, it's and you all get just, to beat the shit out of people. You can wash it all, yeah. You could wash it all. So I'll keep that in mind when she ultimately opens a promotion. Why are Italians from New Jersey proud of being Italians from New Jersey? I feel like all Italians are proud of being Italian, mm -hmm. but then all New Jerseyans are proud of being from New Jersey. Yeah. So it's this, you have like two really obnoxiously proud groups yeah. combined in one. It's just weird to me because Italians from New Jersey feel like RC Cola to me. You know, they're, they're next to what you really wanted. Oh. Do you understand what I'm saying? Unfortunately, I do, and I'm a little offended. Well, the governor, poor infrastructure, it's not my problem. <laughs> Why aren't there that many Italians in wrestling? I feel like it's Bruno San Martino and then you. Oh, I feel like there's a ton. Like who? Like, um, who was, oh gosh, uh -huh. and now I don't even My know his name. Exactly, go ahead. We <laughs> got all the time There's the guy world. that did the pizza, and oh, he, that guy. that one's a racist stereotype. I think, <laughs> I think that guy's great. I like that guy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just think Italians are perfect for wrestling. We had Robbie E, he was doing the. Cut that out, please. <laughs> The reason I think Italians are perfect for wrestling is because they, they're loud, yeah. blunt, yes. overly aggressive, yes. um, often stocky and bloated from mainly eating carbs. Oh. Right? A I don't know if I like that one. I didn't say you. I didn't say you. I just mean in general. <laughs> you don't know bloated Italian people? I do. Your know waste bloated. management uncle. He's a little bloated, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. Then my point yes. remains. Yes. They have a proclivity for nicknames and they're also already oiled. Yeah. It's perfect. Look into the camera, talk to the young Italians, talk to the bambinos at home about why they should become wrestlers. They, we should all become, I mean, you just you just gave it to them. I don't even okay. need to. All right, sorry. sorry. I'm going to make excited. my own Italian-American wrestling company. Yeah, and it'll just be called. You have a twin brother. I do. Dominic Peraza. Dominic. And yes. I assume he's Italian, too. He is. Does he look like you, or do you look like him? Um, well, I was born first, so okay. he looks like me. Oh. Lucky him. Wow. Is it one of those things, because you, you're the twins. Yes. Where, like, if I said I found you attractive, do I also have to admit that I also <laughs> find him attractive? Um, no. I don't think so. Really? Yeah, well, we're not identical. We can't be. Okay. Um, he's got a big beard. Wow. Well, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I feel like it's whatever you're into. Uh -huh. And does he manage any waste? No. Good for him. Not Good yet, for you, obviously. Dominic. We're all not thinking yet. of you. <laughs> you were both wrestling fans. Yes. You and your brother. He grew out of it. Yeah. And then you were trained by uh, Damian Adams. Yep. And Rip Rogers. What's that guy's deal? Oh, God. I, that's a great question. I've been Seems spending like a lot. 12 years trying to figure it out. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> when the hair, the color of the hair is different than the beard, you're in for trouble, quite it's frankly. Little off his rocker. What did he do? The whole slow down, grab a hold, that routine? Yes. Yeah, I got it. We can <laughs> skip it. That's fine. <laughs> You claim to be the greatest technical wrestler today. Mm -hmm. Doesn't the term technical just mean good but boring? I'm not saying you. I'm not saying Why you. you I'm saying here? no, no. I'm saying the term. I'm saying the term is not jazzy I don't think enough. It's boring. Listen to this. Ask me how the sex was. How was the sex? Technically good. Do you understand what I'm saying? I guess. I don't think it's selling you good enough, and I think you can rebrand. Well, that's why I've branded myself as the virtuoso. We're gonna get to that later. Okay. I'm gonna throw one out right now. Okay. Grapple lady. No. <clears throat> you consider yourself a submission specialist. Yes. Okay. Wouldn't the person you're putting the submission on be the specialist in the submitting? They are the ones submitting. You, what do you know about submitting? You don't submit at all. <laughs> you make a fair point. Mm -hmm. However, I am a specialist because I know a plethora of submissions. Yeah, but they're, they're the submitting. If they don't do this, but no submission happens. But I make them happens. do that. If I don't do the move, then they, they don't, don't go like this. You're a domination specialist, and okay. I think you should add that to your OnlyFans. Why are, why do you have an arm fetish? I feel like the arm, no matter how big you are, how small you are, mm. how bloated from your pasta mm -hmm. you can be, you can break an arm no matter what. Right. All joints and limbs work the same. Oh, you make it sound so reasonable now. Yeah. You took the edge off of it, and that's it's much better. Your finishing move 
is a double arm bar yes. called the Venus de Milo, yes. named after the famed statue with no arms. Mm -hmm. Not that it doesn't have arms, it used to have arms, and then they broke, and nobody knows what the original pose is. What do you think the Venus de Milo original arm pose is? I don't care what it is. You don't, you have no, you don't I look at no, it and go like, gee, I wonder what she no, was doing. No, I have no use of her having arms. Maybe she was like, whoopsie. Or maybe she was aghast. Well, maybe you know? she was like, and then they, maybe. And that, and but that, that means that what? What was that? Go back to it. And that indicates what? Please. It's the only one we have. <laughs> um, maybe like, I'm beautiful. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. I feel like you're being mean to art. Last year, you graduated from Southern New Hampshire University with a degree in history. Mm -hmm. And you did it all while wrestling. So I guess neither of those are that hard. <sighs> no. Right? I mean, I just feel like I need to walk off at this point. Uh, what? No, <laughs> no, this is great. Can, just I, feel, can I drink learning. this? You can drink as much as you want. Yeah. There's something in it. The, and it's, it's fiber, and it's so good for you. What are you going to do with a history degree besides teach history? Well, actually, technically, you could work in a museum. Mm -hmm. You could, yeah, teach history. Uh -huh. <laughs> I feel like a history degree is like the technical wrestling of the <laughs> academia world. I, I agree with that one. I do. What history? What do you know? What's your expertise? Oh, my, uh, well, I wrote my thesis mm. on presidential nuclear rhetoric during the Cold War. Wow. Yeah. Oh, that's a big button. That was that's, basically that's your big, thesis. And did we press the button or did we not? Tell me something button. I don't know. Give yes, me something okay. I don't know. Um, well, we've only pressed the button twice, mm -hmm. right? Um, however, there has been numerous discussions over the course of history from when we press the button until today mm. of do we press it, do we not? But it's more like a taboo kind of thing. Yeah. Like wh how are we looked at if we press the button right. now that we know the implications of what the button costs? Yeah. You know, so wow. there's been numerous discussions about it. That's fascinating. Yeah. That won't make it in the episode, but it's fascinating <laughs> nonetheless. I have a little history question Ooh, for you. Okay. A piano sonata in A major by Franz Schubert is the theme song for what sitcom? I don't know. Mm -hmm. You know nothing about history. <laughs> Let's move on. You're a dog mom. I am. You could not care less. Okay. Your husband was a U.S. Marine. He was. Do you have to thank him for his service? Uh, I mean, I have, but... How many times? Do you have to keep doing it? Keep doing it. Wow. Keep he just hangs it, it over your head? <laughs> he said, you know, you're just a history major. You know those buttons? Yeah. I'm the one who gave my life for those buttons. He, he said, did, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. He did. Mm. Twice. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Uh, he is also a wrestler. He is. For another company. Yeah. Uh, another perhaps more impactful company Ooh. Uh, that often deals in breasts and butts. Yes. Do you understand what I'm saying? I do you know understand. what I'm talking about? Yes. Do you guys leak information? Come on, late at night you guys spill. Come on. Sure. Mm -hmm. I just want to let you know, when you guys sleep together, it's considered contract tampering. That's fine. You made your AEW debut May 4th, 2022. You made your AEW debut again on January 3rd, 2024. Yes. How many debuts are you going to get? I'm going to have as many as I freaking want, uh -huh. okay? Because you know, I'm the virtuoso. Mm -hmm. Your most recent debut, quite frankly, is your return. Yes. And your first debut was really just one match. That's how badly it went. Yeah, they said, it, Never again. it went bad, yeah. And what most people don't know is that you were originally booked on the first All In. It was. And then you said, well, I'm going to try this other company. How did that work out? That did not work out well. Okay, interesting. Very, very interesting. You were recently body shamed online. I was. Which is really 75% of what people do online. And you fought back. Yeah. You said, they can kiss my fat ass. You yes, said. they can. Aren't you just shaming the shamers? Yeah, but if they're going to shame me, then why do I care about them? So you're shame shaming. Yes. You're just continuing. It's not helping. You're adding I to mean, the problem. I would here. say that I stuck up for myself mm. and for women as a whole. No, I thought you were really mean to them. Well, maybe I'll have to be mean to you. Let's break the cycle. Look into the camera. Say something nice to those body shamers. And now they will never shame again. <laughs> You do call yourself the Virtuoso. I do. Which is a fantastic name until I realized you just made it up. I didn't make it up. You made it up. It's I a real at, word. Mm, it's barely a word. Ah. No, virtuoso, Virtuosi, Virtuosa. It's not really. I've well, looked Virtuoso the... is just the masculine version of Virtuosa. Uh-huh, which you made up. Uh, you know what? Just Fine. It's it worked up. out this long for me, so I'll make it up all day. You thought there was no Italians here. You thought wrestling fans, they're not going to check. They don't know. I can get away they with whatever. Know. A lot of people in wrestling don't know. It's not that hard to make up Italian words. So I'm going to throw out a scenario. You make up the Italian expression for it, okay? okay? Uh, you don't want anyone to know that your wrestling school is a front for the mob. Waste management. 
No, no, you use Italian, Italian phrases. Like, uh, mazzicazzone, something uh, like that. Marodnami. Really nice. You can make it up, though. That's, that's a, real... a real word, too, but that's fine. Oh, OK, you're about to wrestle someone that doesn't have any arms. Uh, I'm making up a word? Yes. Oh, God. Um, I don't know. Incorrect. Gazzacazzone is what I had here. Oh. Yeah. I you're... was going to say banfangul, but that's a real word. Another word. Yeah. Which, the root is, do you know what the root of that is? No. Well, yeah. I guess Who's I... the history major now? Uh, You're more okay. Italian than me. God. You know what? Maybe maybe it was being too classically Italian. Re I have some New Jersey-ish phrases here. Okay. You might want to try it oh. if you could give those a read. Oh. Really nice. Uh, hey, try not to remember it. Yeah. Well, uh, forget about it. No, no. Try not no. to remember it. It's with all the Italians. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, why would be a shame if something happened to you or? Local small business. Mm -hmm. And finally? My name's Buddy. I'm the boss. The cake boss. Really nice. Really nice. Well, this has been a Mazago Zulian. Yeah. And as the tattoo on your wrist says Matthew 514, ye are the light of the world. Yep. A city that is set on the hill. Are you the city? Cannot be hid. I think I am now. Does that change the context of your tattoo? Are you going to get it removed? Uh, maybe. Maybe we could have the makeup leaning cover it up. That would be great. It feels uncomfortable now. Yeah. I thought it was all going to link up. It didn't really, didn't no, really work it's, out. It's all right, give another Italian saying to the people, the Bambinos. Arrivederci. Oh, that was racist. <laughs> <laughs>